Ladies and gentlemen, please stand by now for the arrival of His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali, President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana.
Prayers will now be said by Pastor Sahid Suleiman, Pandit Surish Singh, and Imam Asif Williams. Almighty God and Father, ruler of heaven and earth, we come to you today as mere mortal men and women, acknowledging your reign, sovereignty, and rulership over our nation's affairs. We come to you for the might of God to uphold us, the wisdom of God to teach us, the eye of God to watch over us, the ear of God to hear us, the word of God to give us speech, the hand of God to protect us, the way of God to direct us, the shield of God to shelter us, and the host of God to defend us. Be with us, O God, as we offer to you our remembering. We thank you for the preservation of life so we can reflect upon and honor our heroes who have died in the line of duty for the betterment of humanity. And through their selfless service, bravery, and courage, we enjoy peace in this nation and the world. Father, your word reminds us that no one has greater love nor stronger commitment than to lay down his own life for his friends. O oh God, we pray for those who have made the ultimate sacrifice, for those who in life and death have preserved our living. May you remember and bless their families and offspring who are alive today. Almighty God, may the sacrifices and commitment of the heroes of war remind us that love for God, love for our fellow men and women, and love for country are still virtues and values aligned to your will and purpose. Grant us strength, O oh God, that we may continue the fight to eliminate hatred, racism, prejudice, division, and strife in our nation. O oh God, may we continue to enjoy peace and harmony within our borders. We pray for the men and women in the armed forces of our nation. May you grant them strength, courage, health, and wisdom to defend our borders, land, and people with love, loyalty, and honor. Give His Excellency, our President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, grace, wisdom, and courage to make decisions that are aligned with your will and purpose for this nation. Lord, we humbly ask for your generous outpouring of wisdom, discernment, and divine understanding on the cabinet of the government and members of the opposition to administer the affairs of our nation. We bring all these petitions and requests before you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Put our hands together and leave our hands, close our eyes. Om Om Sri Ganeshaya Namo Namaha Om Sri Vakratundaya Namo Namaha Om Sri Ganapate Namo Namaha Om Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Sama Prabha Nirvignam Kuru Mideva Sarvakar Yesho Sarvada This morning, firstly, we give prayers 
recognition to Lord Ganesh. The Lord who removes obstacles, the Lord who grants success, and the Lord of good fortune. O Lord, we pray for our dear president, for the cabinet, we pray for national leaders, we pray for all Guyanese. May everyone have success in their mission. Namo Bhudyaham Kaad Chittani Naham Na Chatro Cha Jeve Na Cha Graha Nitre Na Cha Vyuma Bhoomi Na Tejo Na Vayu Chinananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Chinananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham Chinananda Rupa Shivoham Shivoham His voice is saying, I am not the mind, the intellect, the ego, or the memory. I am not the tears, the ears, the skin, the nose, or the eyes. I am not space, not art, not fire, not water, not wind. I am a form of consciousness and bliss. I am eternal. I am Shiva. On this wonderful day, this great day of remembrance, as you recognize the contribution, the sacrifice, the bravery of our fallen soldiers, we also recognizing in Sanatan Dharma that the Atma, the soul, is eternal and continues to live on. And so in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2, verse 23, it states, Nainam chindante sastrani, Nainam dahati pavakaha, Na chainam kledayat ya po, Na shosha yati maruddaha. This verse is summarizing that the Atma is eternal. So while we recognize our con dear contribution, we are recognizing that we are all eternal. And finally, prayers, universal prayers. Om Om Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu O Lord, we are praying for all. May there be well-being in all. May there be peace in all. May there be auspiciousness in all. May there be fulfillment in all. Hari Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Hari Om. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, in Ahmaduhu, and a star in who want to stop fear. Alhamdulillah, your Rabbil Alameen, or Rahman, or Rahim Malik Yomidin. Ea can outbudu, ea can a star in. In dinner, Sirot al Mustakim. In dinner, Sirot al Mustakim. In dinner, Sirot al Mustakim. Sirot al Lazina and Amta Alehim. Oir al Mogdubi Alehim, or a doddlin. Robbana at in a fidunia hasana. وفي الآخرة حسنة وكن عذاب النار ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكوننا من الخاسرين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين حسبنا الله حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير ربنا حب لنا من أزواجنا وزرياتنا قرة عيون وجعلنا للمتكين إماما حسبنا الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش الكريم يا الله سبحانه وتعالى الميت يا الله سبحانه وتعالى as we gather here this morning يا الله we ask you for your forgiveness we ask you for your blessing we ask you for your protection Allah سبحانه وتعالى we celebrate and we recognize and we pay tribute to our fallen heroes يا الله سبحانه وتعالى and those standing heroes يا الله سبحانه وتعالى 
We ask you, Allah, continue to bless them, continue to forgive them, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as we move forward in nation, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, guide us, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that we can live with love, harmony, and unity among our fellow citizens, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we lift our hands towards you. Allah, use our mawla, use our protector, Ya Allah. Allah, grant us goodness in this world and more so in the hereafter, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask you to bless the government, Ya Allah. Bless our leader, the president, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we move forward in one vision and within one gayani, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask you most humbly and sincerely, Ya Allah. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zurriyatina kurrata ayun. Allah accept our supplication, accept our prayers, Ya Allah, on this day, Ya Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we ask you most humbly and sincerely, Allah. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zurriyatina kurrata ayun. وَجَعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّكِينَ إِمَامًا حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ عَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْتُ وَهُوَ رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْكَرِيمِ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ عَمَّا يَسْتِفُونَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ مُحَمَّدُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ Thank you. Thank you, brothers. We now commence the laying of the wreaths at the base of the war memorial. The first wreath to be laid at this commemorative ceremony will be laid by his Excellency, the President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana and the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali. The next wreath this morning will be laid by Prime Minister of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, Honorable Brigadier Mark Phillips. The Chief of Staff of the Ghana Defence Force, Brigadier Godfrey Bess, will now lay a wreath.
President of the Guyana Veterans Legion, Lieutenant Colonel Retired George Gomes, will now lay a wreath. Commissioner of Police Clifton Hicken will move forward now to lay a wreath. We continue with the wreath laying ceremony at Remembrance Day Ceremony 2022. The foreign heads of missions resident in Guyana will now lay wreaths. Ambassador for the Embassy of the United States of America, Her Excellency Sarah Ann Lynch, will now lay a wreath. Moving forward now will be High Commissioner of the Indian High Commission, His Excellency Dr. K.J. Srinivasa to lay a wreath. His Excellency Mark Berman, High Commissioner, Canadian High Commission, will now lay a wreath.
High Commissioner, British High Commission, Her Excellency Jane Caroline Miller, OBE, will now lay a wreath. We continue with Ambassador, Embassy of the People's Republic of China, Her Excellency Guo Haiyan. Her Excellency Lazelle Romelda Blackendell, Ambassador for the Embassy of the Republic of Suriname, will now lay a wreath. Ambassador, Embassy of the Bolivarian Republic of Venezuela, His Excellency Carlos Amador Perez Silva moves forward to lay a wreath. His Excellency Conrad Enil, High Commissioner, High Commission for the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, lays a wreath. His Excellency René Van Ness, Ambassador, Delegation of the European Union, will now lay a wreath.
Mr. Stuart de Freitas, Chargé d'Affaires, Embassy of the Sovereign Military Hospitaller Order of St. John of Jerusalem, of Rhodes and of Malta, will now lay a wreath. Mr. Ms. Dolores Kunst, Charge of Affairs, Embassy of the Argentine Republic, will now lay a wreath. And the final wreath for the diplomatic corps will be laid by Mr. Jaliandro Perez, Chargé d'Affaires, Embassy of the Republic of Chile. The penultimate wreath to be laid this morning will now be done by Christopher Chin from St. John's Ambulance Brigade. And the final wreath to be laid this morning will be done by Akwini Niles of the Guyana Red Cross. And that concludes the laying of the wreaths. Ladies and gentlemen, with a statement on the occasion of Remembrance Day 2022, here is His Excellency, Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali, President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. On this Sunday of remembrance, 
we meet again to remember all those gallant men and women who gave their lives in two world wars. We are forever indebted to them for their supreme sacrifice in the cause of peace and freedom. We also recall with gratitude those who, through the years, have made similar personal sacrifices in a continuing struggle for human dignity, social justice, and freedom from all forms of oppression, wherever there exists. Their example strengthens our resolve to maintain our efforts for a world at peace with justice and prosperity for all peoples. On this solemn occasion, we, the citizens of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, rededicate ourselves to the search for peace everywhere and renew our commitment to the development and well-being of our beloved country. We will now sing the hymn, O God, Our Help in Ages Past. Let us all now sing the national anthem.
And that concludes our commemorative ceremony this morning here at the Georgetown Cenotaph. So we thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us this morning, acknowledging again our six surviving veterans from World War II, especially Mr. Donald Grant, who served in the Royal Air Force, and he is on parade this morning in the wheelchair, leading that contingent and all other veterans present for this occasion. They're moving now for their reception at the and Guyana that, Legion, to returning the of after our, so, Of course, this uh, very auspicious ceremony this morning. Uh, the, the veterans, veterans um, of course, reception. Remembrance Day. But it's really great to see the veterans out here, like even while we've had the ceremony. Our children yes, in our we're midst forever indebted to, you know, their sacrifices that they've made in order for us to really uh, experience peace we'll and prosperity. So this was a really beautiful ceremony. It was my first time experiencing something like this. And and it made me really emotional, you know. It was, um, it was definitely um, heart, heart, heart touching, to say the least. And so we uh, and I'll tell you what, it, it's good that you can say that because it's good to see um, the young and energetic as you are um, come out and be a part of this. And you know, it's it's really also good that even as the baton has passed from um, seniors to the juniors, we've got. Um, body on people that were carried on but yes. importantly we thank you so much for being a part of this ceremony this morning and Danielle you are a good sport good having you on board <laughs> thank you and um, we want to thank of course all of uh, you that have been following us here live on NCN and on the World Wide Web as well this is Mark Watson and uh, Daniela Daniela Aracho Aracho all right remember the name all right thank you so much for being a part of this ceremony and we wish you all the best for the rest of this Remembrance Day goodbye